As the sold-out Aztecs prepare for the new year, head coach Frankie Berlanga reflects back on the 2016 championship season. But uh, it was really special just because I have an emotional attachment to the kids. I know what it's like to grow up here and, and play sports and compete and all those things. So I'm glad we were able to do it at a, at a sectional level like we did. Entering his seventh season as head coach, Berlanga, a former sold-out football standout on his own right, knew his school could be better on the field. I just felt like just looking back in the record books uh, before I got the head coaching job, that they're a lot capable of doing a lot better than they, than they had been prior to me getting here, even uh, when I was playing and after I played here. I just felt like this school, this school in this town has way too much talent and way too much football IQ to, to, to underachieve like they had been. Berlinga said in order for his team to be as successful as possible, he had to make sure he surrounded his student athletes with the best possible staff he could. Right. First of all, you have to have the right staff, have the right individuals to lead and be great teachers out here and love on the kids. The way I ask them to love on the kids and, and uh, it's a lot, it's a reflection also of our players who are able to receive that instruction, to receive the direction and discipline that we give them and allow it to be put forth through a, a great effort. With the Aztecs non-league schedule highlighted with games versus Seaside and at Antioch, Berlanga said this is the toughest schedule sold out has ever had. And that's exactly how the Aztecs won it. With the Salinas Californian Sports, this is Quinn Robinson.